Are you ready for a change? Are you ready to get stronger, to lose weight? Are you willing to put in the work and do whatever it takes? Are you ready to let go of the past? Are you ready to take the fight to diabetes? If so, you've come to the right place. Welcome, congratulations on joining the fight. I'm Charlie O'Connell. I'm here with Deb and Sharon, and we're here in the FitScript training studio, and I hope you're ready to have an awesome upper body workout. Okay, now you're gonna need some dumbbells for this workout, so make sure that you're prepared, and let's get ready to go. Coming right here, side to side, tap, ready, go. Okay, now this is an upper body workout, but we're gonna spend the first two minutes just getting warmed up, just getting the rhythm of the pace of this workout. And I want you to come right here, start reaching back, squeezing those lats, those upper back muscles. We're gonna work every muscle in the upper body here. Five seconds, three, two, one, reach out. Elbows out, breathing. You better breathe now because this is going to be an intense upper body workout, interval training, working every muscle in the upper body. In three, two, one, reach up. Here we go. Now a lot of you might be feeling a little bit stiff, might already be feeling a burn in the shoulders. That's okay, that's exactly why we're doing this little warm up piece. Three, two, one, come back out here. breathing. Now we're here. It's a blizzard outside, but you're here working out. The weather's not going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us from reaching our fitness goal, especially diabetes. Three, two, four, one. Once you come right here, speed bag. Here we go. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, four, one. I want you to come one side. Boxer stance. We're getting into a bounce. Getting ready to work this upper body. Okay. Five, four, three, two, four, one. Let's go. Starting with a front jab. Breathing on each punch out. Make sure that your body is turning when you throw this punch. Not just standing still, but truly turning. Same side that's up is the same side that's punching. Now right here, we're already working the shoulders, the triceps, and the abdominals. Four, Three, two, four, one, jog in place. Great job. Now this is an upper body interval workout, very similar to our other interval workouts that we've done. You're doing 40 seconds of exercise, followed by 20 seconds of taking it down a little bit, but we want continuous movement. That's the key. Come to the other side, go. Jab. Full extension. I want to see as big a range of motion as possible. Getting those hips turning, punching right in front of you. Now, if you're already starting to feel a burn, maybe in the shoulders, maybe in the hips, that's great. But if you're feeling pain, if you're feeling dizzy, if you're feeling injured, just stop. Take a break. And when you're ready to join us, come back and get into it. Last one. 
Jog out, great job. Okay, so that burning feeling that you might have already been feeling, that's an indication that we've drained the glycogen from those muscles. That's exactly what we want to do. That's the whole point of the, this series. Come up, switch side, hook, go. Punch, go, punch, boom. Turn that hip. Your whole body is turning, working the obliques. Our biceps are now getting involved with this hook and punch. Let's go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one, knockout punch, good job. Okay, so when we drain the glycogen out of our muscles, we create the space for the glucose that's circulating around our blood to go where it's supposed to go. That's the whole point, that's the whole reason why exercise is so great for preventing diabetes. So it's the other side, hook, go. We're creating a space for the glucose to go where it's supposed to go. And we're increasing our sensitivity to insulin. Turn that body. Throwing that elbow out. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, knockout punch. Jog it out. Great job. Excellent job. Continuous movement. Remember, 40 seconds of moderately intense workout, followed by 20 seconds continuous movement. Okay, let's put that other foot forward. Now we're coming into an uppercut. Go. Ready, punch, boom, punch. Now we're getting the lats involved, our biceps, our obliques, our hips. Make sure you're using that hip to throw the punch. There we go, stay with me. Don't get tired now, you just gotta breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, knockout. Great job. Jog it out. Now, getting back to that burning sensation, that's also called lactic acid. The burning sensation in your muscles indicates the presence of lactic acid. Switch it over, up, go, go. There it is. Now, lactic acid is the byproduct of spent glycogen. Come on, I really want to see you work now. I want to see down and up. This is your knockout punch. You've got him on the ropes. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, knockout. Great job. Jog it out. So lactic acid is the byproduct of spent glycogen. Glycogen is the energy source inside your muscles. When we clear that source out, we create the space for glucose to go. Okay, bring that other foot forward. Now follow me one time. Jab, cross, hook, up. One more. Jab, cross, hook, let's go. Jab, cross, hook, up. Jab, up. Get that back foot turning. When you throw that uppercut, I want to see a back foot turning. Up. 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 Punch. Five seconds. Three, 
two, one jog out. Great job. All right, we're only eight minutes into this workout. I'm already sweating. You're doing a great job. We're working the whole upper body here. Okay, bring that other foot forward. Just do it one time slow. Jab, cross, hook, up. One more time. Jab, cross, hook, go. Jab, cross, hook, up. There we go. This is total body, twisting those obliques. Uh, breathing, breathing on each punch. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, jog it out. Excellent, excellent job. Okay, now we're gonna get a little bit of lateral movement going here. So I want you to just breathe for a second. Let your body come down. That was a hard little combo series right there. And we get ready, we're gonna move this way first. Three jabs and a cross. Ready, go. One, two, three, cross. One, two, punch. One, two, one, two, punch. One, two, punch. One, two, punch. One, punch. I wanna see that body turn. When you throw that cross punch, turning to look where you're punching. Punch, 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 punch. 10 seconds. Cross, five, four, three, two, last one. Punch, great job. Jog it out, jog it out. Continuous movement. Already working this whole core series right here. Every single muscle in our abdominal wall is working. Now, a little forward and back movement. So I want you to take this leg from right here. We're going to three jabs and across, then back. Three jabs and across. Ready? Go. One, two, three, punch. One, two, punch. One, two, three, cross. 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 There it is. Boom. Get it coordinated. On the offense, on the defense. Punch, punch, cross, 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 cross. Last one, knockout, great job, jog it out. Excellent job, excellent. We're working the shoulders now, our fists, Staying closed, we're creating those muscular forearms. Why don't you come over to the other side? Same thing, ready, go. One, two, three, cross, one, two, three. cross, one, two, three, punch, one, two, punch, one, two, punch, one, two, punch, one, two, cross, one, two, cross. Let's go. Punch, one, two. Breathing. Cross, one, two. Cross, one. Cross, one, two. Last one. Knockout. Great job. Jog it out. Excellent job. Okay, let yourself calm down for a second. Now we're going to pick it up. Okay, last in our punching series. I want you to come, both feet facing forward, hands up, go. Let's go. Rocket jabs. Breathing. There we go, I want you to get a little lower now. Let's go. You can go faster than that. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, oh, one. Awesome, awesome job. That was a full, complete combo series, working that upper body. Now, let's go ahead and pick up our weights. We're gonna do a little bit of strength training. Go ahead and do that right now. Okay, you should have your dumbbells ready. The first thing we're gonna do is bent over dumbbell rows. So I want you to pick up your dumbbells, or you follow Deb if he's got a resistance band. We're gonna come right here, bring it down, knees slightly bent, ready, go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. There we go. Make sure you're breathing. Really squeezing. Now, the farther you can stay bent over, the more you're engaging the lower back. So if you have lower back issues, don't try and go too far. The point of this exercise is to work the lats. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. Great job. Shake those arms out. I was working this muscle right here. Take a big deep breath. At any time you're feeling dizzy, you need to take a break, just take a break. All right, let's pick those weights up again. Now we're standing up nice and tall, and we're going double arm bicep curl. Up, down, up, down. Now we're talking. Now we're really building muscle. If you're feeling a burning sensation in your bicep muscles, in your delts, in your shoulders, that means that we've cleared out that space and we're creating huge amounts of empty space for the glucose to go. And we're also now starting the fat burning process. Your body has to burn fat. Four, three, two, one, put them down. When we feel that burning sensation, two things happen. The glucose gets shuttled to where it's supposed to go, and it also kickstarts our metabolism to start oxidizing fat. You're doing such a great job. I want you to pick up those dumbbells again, and now we're going alternating. Go, one, boom, let's go. Come on, we're building muscle here. This is strength training, this is upper body. If you wanna build muscle, you gotta lift weights. Simple as that. There we go, perfect. Now, maybe your elbow might be bothering you a little bit. If it is, go to a lighter weight or modify it to what's called a hammer press. I'm oh, sorry, what's called a hammer curl, where we're not turning, we're not turning like that. Not like that, just keeping it straight up. Here we go, four more seconds. Four, three, two, one, put them down, excellent job. Okay, now you can stick with the same weights or the same resistance band, or you can go a little lighter weights with the next exercise, which I'm gonna do. I want you to put one foot forward, and now we're going out to the side. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down, there we go. Up, down. Lifting up as high as you can without causing pain in your rotator cuff or in your shoulders. Now we're really working those neck muscles, the traps, the delts, everything really. Working our core, building, building those arms that you want. Here we go, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one more. Great job, put them down. Woo! That's such a great exercise, building the core. You know, those shoulder muscles. I want you to shake it out a little bit. Getting ready for the next one. Pick up those same weights again. Switch the foot that's in front. And now we're going alternating front raise. Now we're really working the front of the shoulder. The traps, the delts, all of the major muscles in the upper body. There we go. Now, if you look, if this is too easy for you, 
bring both feet, both hands. There it is. Now we're getting everything involved. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Put those down. Okay. I'm gonna go pick up these heavier weights again for this next exercise. Don't have to, you can stick with those weights. Whatever one works for you. You're gonna pick up your weights, bring them right up here, and we're going shoulder press. Ready, go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You're doing so good. Working the shoulders, working the triceps. Work at our lower back. If you're ready for a twist, bring it here. Twist, up, twist, up, twist, up. If this is too hard, one at a time is fine. Let's go, eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, put that weight down. Now we're gonna put it all together. I'm gonna go back to these lighter weights for this last exercise. Again, all of these exercises can be done with the same weight. If you're using the resistance band, you're gonna put the resistance band on the back foot, and we're going curl, press, back, down. Curl, press, back, down. Total upper body workout right here. If you have one exercise to do, you only got five minutes to create some space inside your body to restore that glucose, restore that fat, and you're looking for an upper body exercise, this would be it right here. Biceps, triceps, shoulder, abs, lower back. What else you want? Five, four, three, two, or one. Fantastic job. Put those weights down. You should be feeling a total upper body blitz right there. Let's go ahead and get ready now to come down to the ground. And we're gonna work the chest muscles and the abs. Okay. Okay, so come on down to the mat. We're gonna start off with crunches. Feet flat, knees up, ready, go. Up, down, up, down. Very good, that's an excellent, a nice, controlled, deliberate pace here. Now make sure that you're breathing, exhaling. Don't hold your breath. Don't tense your neck. Okay. The most important thing with the crunch is that the shoulders are coming off the ground. Okay. Deb's doing a great job here. If you're ready to take it a little bit to a harder variation, see if you can get the shoulder blades to come off the ground. Exhaling with each time. Don't hold your breath. Here we go. Four, three. Two, one. Great job and rest. Now what I want you to do is roll over onto your side. Okay? We're going for side push-ups. Two variations. Deb is going to show you a little bit easier. Sharon's going to go with a little bit harder one. Getting ready. In four, three, two, go. Pushing up, down, up, down. Extending. I want you to Extend that tricep. You're gonna feel that right in this chest area, right in the tricep. Beautiful, the Deb's using that other arm to support her body coming up, pressing. If you're ready, if you're ready for that more challenging exercise, follow Sharon, okay? She's got her hand by her head and she's pressing up. I know that you're feeling this right now. You're gonna feel this in that chest. This is one of the best exercises you can do using just your body weight. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Come on, back down onto your back. Okay, you're doing fantastic. Stay here with me. Knees, knees back up, feet flat. And now we're getting ready for a reverse crunch. So we're gonna work with lower abs. In three, two, one, go. Here we go. Up, down, up, Perfect, up, down. Pressing your lower back flat into the ground. Breathing, I wanna, I wanna see a nice flow of breath, okay? Variation number one. This is a 
perfect exercise. If you're ready to take it to that next level, Sharon is doing two things here now. She's extending the leg straight out. This is very challenging. Notice her lower back is staying pressed flat and she's lifting the head up. Okay, this is a very challenging variation. You're doing a great job. Make sure you're breathing. Two, one, rest. Great job, okay. Take a big deep breath. Now I want you to switch over to the other side. Okay, we're gonna do side push-ups on the other side. So coming, here we go, just like that. Placing that hand in position. Getting ready in three, two, one, press. Up, down, up, down, up, down, great job, squeezing, pressing. I want to see you squeezing that pec muscle right here. Okay, you're doing a great, great job. This is how you build an upper body. This is how we engage the upper chest area. Okay, fantastic. Using two hands, or if you're ready, using one hand, extending all the way up, using that leg as a counterbalance. Okay, you're doing fantastic. Four, three, two, one, rest. Come back now flat. You're doing such a great job. Stay with me here. Total upper body interval workout. Now we're going for bicycle kicks. Okay, with three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and start. And hit the, there we go. Okay, you're doing a great job. Bicycle kicks. Now, Deb is touching, okay? Each foot is touching the ground. You're doing a phenomenal job, opposite elbow to opposite knee, working those transverse abdominal muscles, okay? If you're ready, take it to the next level. Sharon's extending those legs all the way out. She's got a nice, rapid clip. Legs are low, lower back is pressed flat. Make sure you're breathing, you gotta breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic job, rest. Okay, now I want you to flip over, roll onto your stomach. Okay, so coming up, we're gonna start off with swimmers. So, opposite hand, opposite arm, lifting. Ready, go. Okay, now, go at the range of motion that works for you. Here's what our goal is. We want the shoulders off the ground. We want the knees off the ground, engaging the lower back, engaging those hamstrings, those glute muscles, engaging the entire back side of our body. If you can, and you're ready to take it to that next level, bring it up. Man, look at that, that's so good. Up nice and tall, those arms are reaching up, feet are coming off the ground. Here we go, you're doing great. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Place those hands right below the shoulder. You're doing such a great job. I know you felt the burn in your entire backside of your body. Now we're gonna take it to a whole nother level. We're going push-ups for 40 seconds. I wanna see how many push-ups can you do in 40 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, here we go, excellent. Boom, up, down, up. You can do this, you can do this. Don't stop now. Just when you think you can't do any more, do one more. Now, Deb's doing it with it on the knees. This is totally a perfect variation for this exercise. The key is make sure that you're breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Total upper body workout here. Now, Sharon's going for the real deal here. Elbows are back. Back is flat, okay, up on the toes. She's killing it right now. You're doing great, you got five seconds. Four, three, Two, one, great job. Wow, that was amazing. Hey, you're doing so awesome. You're, you're gonna come out of this feeling like freaking Hercules. Now, I want you to extend those arms out. Now, this is the bonus exercise right here. Arms out, we're going both arms, both legs at the same time. Ready, go. Up, there we go, boom, just like that. Now, the entire back side of our body from here all the way up, to be feeling a burning sensation. Two variations, keep those arms bent, or you can even keep the hands on the ground, just pressing up, or if you're ready, you're ready to take it to that next level. Arms extended out, folding up in a reverse seat position. 
one of the best exercises you can do. Total body, upper body, interval training. Three, two, one, rest. Fantastic job. Okay, I want you to take a big deep breath, and now I want you to come back into a child's pose. Okay, so reaching back. There we go, bringing the butt down to the heels, letting the arms extend all the way out. Resting, let your forehead fall to the ground. Rest your neck, rest those shoulder muscles. You just worked out so hard. I know your whole upper body is burning, and that's exactly what we want. Remember, when we feel that burning sensation, that means we've drained the glycogen out of that particular muscle, creating the space for extra glucose that's circulating around in our blood to go where it's supposed to go. Engaging the metabolic process of oxidization, okay? Burning fat. You did such a great job. Now, I want you to slowly take one more big deep breath. Slowly come up on all fours, and now I want you to transition to a seated position. Okay. Coming right here, legs crossed. I want you to grab a hold onto the front leg. I want you to arch your back and pull those shoulders down. Okay, so when we grab on here and we arch our back, that allows that chest to open up. Take a nice, big, deep breath. You did so good right there. Now what I want you to do is inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, twist, looking over, looking behind you if possible. Take another big deep breath, slowly exhale, come back to center, reach up again. Exhale, twist to the other side, bringing that chin, looking behind you. Don't over twist. Take a big deep breath, slowly come back. Reach those arms up. Drop the right hand down to the side and now come for a side bend. Letting this ear fall to the shoulder. Don't scrunch your shoulder. Let that ear fall. Now let that other hand, that left hand, drop down. Feel that stretch in the neck. You're feeling that right here. You might not have even realized how tight that area is. Take another big deep breath. I want you to slowly come up. Wow, that stretch feels good. Now I want you to reach those arms up again. Drop it to the other side. Hand comes down. Side bend it over. Ear comes down to the shoulder. Take a big deep breath. Exhale. Let the other arm fall down to the side. Right arm is falling down. Feeling that stretch right here in the neck. Don't scrunch your shoulder. Let this shoulder stay low. Take one more big deep breath. Slowly come up. Arms up one more time. Bring your hands right to center. Sitting up nice and tall. Last big deep breath. That was an upper body interval workout. If you do that once a week, you're going to be on your way to completely reducing your risk for diabetes. Great job. We'll see you in the next workout.